afternoon, uh, the first one in our, our February series, is our first that has two faculty members presenting, so that in itself should make it more a little bit more fun. And it's also, uh, as I look through the schedule, it's also the one with the longest title. Um, today's Earnings Management and Corporate Social Responsibility, an in-class exercise to illustrate the short-term and long-term consequences. I would also like to add, before I introduce our two faculty members to get going, that this series is sponsored by one of our trustees, Lori Branch, who happens to be here this afternoon. Lori, thank you very much. Okay? 
We will alternate the order in which we ask you to announce your decision. And because of the venue we're in, I am going to ask you to announce your decision pretty loudly to try to make sure everyone can hear you. Um, you're going to start out, and you can see it here, with a base condition. And all of you are in the same base position in terms of your net operating income and your P.E. ratio, and all of you have a neutral or zero social responsibility rating. You're going to make a series of decisions, each of which can affect your net operating income, and many of which can also affect your P.E. ratio, your social responsibility rating, or both. They vary. Um, for many of the decisions, you will roll your die to see what the impact of your decision is on net operating income. And it will explain that with each scenario to you. Some of the decisions are accounting choices that push the envelope with respect to GAAP, generally accepted accounting principles. So sometimes you're going to be making a decision that is in the gray area of whether that is acceptable under current accounting rules in the United States. When you make that type of a decision, you are going to be audited. And I believe our auditor today is going to be Professor Mike Kaspersky. Okay? An independent auditor, if ever I saw one. And he will also have his own doc. Okay? I promise you none of the dice are fixed. And his die will determine whether the auditor accepts your position or denies it. So in some instances, the auditor might disallow the decision that you have made. Um, if you have made a decision subject to audit, you will see a risk level after you've made the decision. So you don't know this in advance. But after you've made the decision, a risk level will be revealed. It ranges from 1 to 6, with 1 being the lowest risk, 6 being the highest. When the auditor rolls the die, if the roll of the die is anything higher than the risk level, then the auditor accepts your position. If it's anything at that level or below, your decision is disallowed. So the example up here is if the risk level is 4 and the auditor rolls a 1, 2, 3, or 4, the decision is disallowed. On the other hand, if the auditor rolls a 5 or a 6, the decision is allowed. Um, if your decision is disallowed, recognize there can be some penalties. There will be penalties. Um, finally, we are going to be updating for you where you stand at the end of each decision period with respect to these key measures, your net operating income, your price earnings ratio, and social responsibility. <coughs> Just a few final things before we start. A little bit of information about your company. Someone asked earlier, what, what does our company do? Um, we're still going to give you a pretty vague answer, but you are a manufacturer, you're publicly held, um, you have a December 31st year end, three different locations in small towns in the U.S., like Olea, okay, so like our area. Your annual net sales are projected to be $10 million, so this is a relatively small company. Uh, your gross profit margin, your net operating profit margin are given to give you a sense of kind of the, the background information about the industry. Forecasted operating profit, again, is the 800000 So each of you has that as a starting point. Your base P-E ratio of 16 represents the value that the market currently puts on your earnings. So remember, your P-E ratio is a multiple that measures earnings per share um, times your P-E ratio equals the current market price of the stock. Um, let's see, at any point in time, if you want to know what your market capitalization is, you can multiply your P.E. ratio by your net operating income, okay? At the end, we're going to provide you with that information for everyone, but we're not giving you that information throughout, 